just made it up north. I'm at a buddy's place that he has permission to hunt, and we got four days of muzzleloader season left, so it's really cold. It just dropped off cold yesterday, so this is the second day of cold. I'm sneaking down this valley in this bean field, and uh, hopefully, I know that there'll be a lot of deer coming in here tonight. It's standing beans that hasn't been cut yet, but we're hoping for a good buck. And there might be some already down in there, so we're gonna get down there, sneak down there, and see if we can spot some deer and get set up before hopefully any's came in there and hopefully a buck comes out this evening. So I've got about two hours of daylight left. Hoping to have some luck tonight. shoot to both sides on this west side and the winds hit me right in the face where I feel like these deer are gonna come now they could possibly come from behind me in this wide open field but I'm picking that I'm hoping that they'll come out of this west side if they come out of the east side I couldn't get a shot anyway it's probably three four hundred yards across the field so I'm hoping that they come from this west side Well, day two, getting ready to start out this morning, about six o'clock, getting ready to leave, got all my stuff together, so we got a new spot to hunt that, uh, it's a new spot to hunt that we haven't hunted this year. He's had some friends that's hunted it, and uh, they got a blind and some, um, a stand and stuff out there, but close to the blind, he's been getting several pictures of some nice nice deer recently so I'm gonna sneak in there this morning and get in that blind and sit in there several hours and see if we can see a big old buck so I'm excited about this morning
should be a good morning. It should be a lot of action. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to see some.
11.30. Haven't seen anything in about an hour. So, maybe a little over an hour. I'm going to sneak out of here, go back to the hotel room and give me something to eat. And then I'm going to head to that bean field where I seen those bucks last night. guys I just got into the spot where I'm sitting I'm sitting in this big brush pile on that bean field that I was at last night and all those deer came in right down here I'm about probably 150 yards away from it somewhere right in there from the corner where they come out so if they come out tonight I'll have a shot at them um, I checked the two cameras here there was that one there's one good eight pointer that's on there, but I didn't get to check the cameras on the other side, so I don't know what's on them, but they, um, when I came down the hill, there was an eight-pointer out here, a small one out here eating already at two o'clock, so hopefully, I, I hope they might move a little earlier than that last night, no guarantee, but I just hope they come out a little earlier than they did the other night. The wind's blowing pretty good, so the audio's probably not that good, but we're settled in and ready to see some deer. There's about six. There's about seven deer out in the field already. There's a, a forked horn, a spike, and then I think four or five does. I'm not sure exactly, but they're right over the crest of this little hill. So I didn't realize that that hill dipped down so much. So if a buck walks out, I'm going to have to probably. If one walks out that I want to shoot, I'm probably going to have to sneak up on the crest of that hill in these trees and then shoot because I can't, like sitting down right here, I can't even see the deer and if I stand up I can see all of them. There's probably already 20 deer in the field. And then I had four get over on this side of me and now they smelled me and now they're all gone. I still got quite a bit of time before dark, but probably about an hour. You never know what'll happen with an hour left, but 
Man, that's disappointing. So many deer were out here, and then a lot more than last night, and now they're all gone. guys what happened was you know it was getting really low light for the camera well I couldn't get a clear shot at that big eight pointer I seen him out there these ones were so close to me I couldn't move until they went to the field so as soon as they went in the field I snuck down farther down to get the brush out of my way and got uh, rested on a tree and shot it was a long shot but I thought I hit him and then he, he ran a little bit to the edge of the woods and then he just bedded down, but his head was up. So I was like, well, maybe I didn't hit him. So I reloaded my muzzleloader, jumped down in that creek where those bucks had crossed and snuck all the way down that creek. And then um, got up on the other side, got my crosshairs on him again and shot him again. And I think he's down right there. I'm not sure, but I think he's down right there. So I'm gonna get my stuff together here and then we'll go over and see if we can find him. There he is. Look at that toad. Well guys, here he is, big Missouri eight pointer. He's a nice one. I'm super proud of him. He won't score too much, probably only 125, 130. But he's a, he's a really good, 
nice buck. Look at that. I can't believe the way that happened, but it still is really neat. Tonight was just a magical night. They were just coming in the beans like crazy. What a nice buck. Look at that. What do you think? He has mass here, see? But it's not huge. How long do you think those... Man, that froze to his horn already. How, how long do you think those tines are? Only 10? I don't know. It may be a little bigger than 10. Yeah, probably 10. See, this side, this is a short one. This one's probably 7, 8. We'll see. What do you think? 130 maybe? <laughs> yeah, it'll be in the 130. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you like hunting and fishing and things like that, subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it trying to get that subscriber number up. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you on the next one.